Good morning all, RPG Rider here on this foggy, cloudy, cold morning. <clears throat> so anyway, um, you know, of necessity, I'm going somewhere. So I uh, just thought I'd keep the camera rolling and uh, once again, don't have much uh, prepared, but I did have a small idea tiny idea <clears throat> as I was getting on the uh, super sport and that is uh, what would you be if you could be anything in a role-playing world so in other words if you could actually be beamed to a setting of your choice you know Greyhawk Rift's Earth, you know, <clears throat> Cthulhu Land, Star Drive, whatever. What would you be? What would you be if you were given that actual ability to make a wish and go there? Now, the only thing I want to um, qualify about that question is... Um, that I don't want you to just solely think about survival, you know? So most people would say, well, a mage, you know, in any world, or a ley line walker, because I have spells for food and stuff like that. I don't want you to think about that. I want you to think about what you think is cool and what you would actually enjoy being day to day. You know, would it be a fighter in, uh, you know, <clears throat> a fantasy uh, campaign like Greyhawk? Would it be a full conversion Bork in Rift's Earth? Or like I said earlier, a Ley Line Walker? What would you honestly be? Now we're talking any setting here. So if you want to use uh, Heroes Unlimited <clears throat> and you want to tell me what type of uh, superhero you'd be, well, go ahead. I'm genuinely curious. What about the uh, Star Wars RPG? Firefly RPG? Any of those. What would you be in any setting of your choice. Well, I guess I'll talk about mine. Uh, for me, I guess I'd be a magic user so I can get some food. No, I would... Uh, I think if I could go to any setting... Uh, it's a real, really hard question, actually. It's quite a difficult question. I should have actually thought about this. Um, gee, I guess I would have a few choices. Uh, I think Rift's Earth is quite interesting. So if I went to Rift's Earth, um, I think I would be something technological. Um, so maybe a Bork. Um, you know, with lots of armaments and such. Right, maybe. But then you think about, you know, uh, Loth and stuff. What if you found... Um, you know, there are definitely there are problems with human interaction when you're a uh, full conversion orc, right? <clears throat> In a fantasy campaign, uh, gee, I don't know, Elven Ranger maybe would be kind of cool. <clears throat> you know, you just get one choice, and that's the difference. You know, usually. When you're, you know, I mean, when you're role-playing and gaming, you have multiple choices, right? If you want to change your character, usually the GM will let you, or if you die, you get to come back as something else. Here we're talking permanent, so you really have to put some thought into it. It has to be, you know, your favorite thing, because that's what you're going to be. You know? What type of character? And because I'm saying character, I'm, I'm, you know, excluding monsters, unless they're provided as a character class, uh, you know, in some, some book, right? So if you're in a fantasy campaign, forget dragon, but if you're in a Rift's campaign, and dragon's on the, on the board, right? <clears throat> Which is a, uh, youngling dragon, I believe? A great horn dragon, young one, something like that. Yeah, so maybe full conversion Borg. <clears throat> well, 
like the idea that robotic parts, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I'm curious. I'm genuinely curious. What would you be? Listening to, you guessed it, the Robotech soundtrack. It puts me in a good mood. Really, a Robotech has always put me in a good mood. It's, it's, as Roy Foker said, you know, it just, uh, I don't know what it is, it just gets in your blood or something. This whole Robotech thing. <coughs> Come and chive on, says the vehicle in front of me. I don't think I've ever understood that reference. Maybe I missed some popular commercial or something. 